Okay guys, um, so in this episode, I just want to show you how to, uh, one more option with the Vortex, um, as you can see here, the previous episode is actually show you how to replace this stock, um, receiver with the Free Sky, uh, Tyrannus receiver. So, now that everything is working in terms of the throttles, pitch and roll, yaw, and all that stuff. One other thing that you need to do is to add the flight mode. So as you know, um, the Vortex uh, 250 Pro actually has three flight mode. The Acro, Horizon, and Angle. But right now, this particular quad, it doesn't know that because I need to go and set up here the three different flight mode for that. So let's go ahead and uh, show you how I do that, okay? So to do that, you basically have to go to the... Uh, the radio itself right now okay with the radio you go in there and you just hit the page um, to the 5 or 12 right here okay on here you can actually move down to the the fifth input and as you see here I also select I already select the S uh, one switch there the next thing is you go to the mixer and it's selected switch G so you look up here I want to use the three position um, Switch G right here. This is a three position. So I can have um, angle mode, horizon, and the top one is acro. So if you don't set this up, the default, if it dial the fly mode setting, it's always going to be the acro. Acro means. Um, the quads does not have the cell leveling so everything you have to control by your input here for beginner you don't want to use the acro unless you're really good at it so that's why I'm setting this up so that myself I'm gonna start out with either the angle mode or the horizon mode then gradually uh, go to the acro so we'll, I'll show you that in the uh, in the setup. So from the radio, you don't need to turn on the quad at this at this point. Just set everything up in the radio so that the radio is set to that. Okay. So I name it the uh, F mode, stand for fly mode. Uh, that's what it is right now. So let's see. Uh, go from here. Let's power up the quad and see in the OSD how to set that up. All right, so now we got the quad is here. Make sure the antenna is on before you power it up. Uh, connecting to the battery. Telemetry recovered. Okay, it's actually connected. And just go ahead and look at the uh, the monitor so in the monitor right now you actually see the regular you know the uh, OSD information one of the thing I forgot to mention about this quad is that it also has a black box uh, feature built in what that means is every flight the black box has store all the flight information for you you know if you crash or the way you fly it and all that stuff has been recorded 
and store in that black box information if you want to re review the way you fly it and such it's already there for you at the end of the fly session so that's one of the features I think is pretty cool so to do that um, you just have to to go into the uh, the, the menu set up, you just have to move the left stick to the left and hold. So when you do the left stick and hold, you get into this uh, Vortex menu. So to get into it, you just move the right stick up and down to change to the different uh, menu that you want to get into. So in this case, um, we wanted to go into the OSD um, setting. So by doing the right stick, turn it to the right, you change the OSD mode. Easy OSD, Air Race OSD, heads up display, even it has a, a built-in uh, game gamer that you can actually practice this without using the quad itself so it's kind of simulator built into it as well okay so i just put it back in the easy osd uh in this point um then um you can change you know your um uh, enable your telemetry um battery uh information beeper frequency and such um, what we want to do now, um, you can also uh, select the different LED display in the back of the quad the way that you want it, uh, that as well. Um, then you can also change the frequency of the uh, VTX if you're in a group and everybody kind of run you know uh in the same frequency you can change yours to a different frequency so that you don't have interference um that as well okay uh uh with the flight controller pitch setting rc setting and such are all here uh all you know from the osd uh, uh setting you don't need the computer everything's all in here so with that as you can see here uh in the top right here you can see it's in horizon mode so i flick my switch it goes to the angle mode then it goes to the acro mode so that is what the um the fifth channel that i showed you earlier how you assign this uh flight mode to it okay so acro, angle, and horizon. So angle is the mode that I would fly with. This is because I have cell leveling and it allows you to, uh, you know, uh, fly it for beginner. Um, it's easier to fly. Once you go to horizon mode, um, so leveling is still there but you can do flips and and stuff like that once you go to the acro it's basically you all uh control the quad uh everything from the stick input itself so this is where the race uh taking place you want to race it in the acro mode that's where you get the most speed out of it all right i hope you enjoyed this video and uh you find this uh, helpful for you. Take care.